Show your Irish pride with some do-it-yourself clothing embellishments. Tess Poe is the owner of Beehive Sewing Studio in Northampton, and she's here to show us how we can have some fun. Yes. Hi, Tess. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? One week from St. Patrick's Day. One week from St. Patrick's Day, yes. Uh, so what we're going to do is talk about some different ways that you can decorate your own clothing. So I have brought a few options here. I have brought some fabric markers. I have brought some fabric pastel crayons. Yes. And I have brought some fabric paint. So because some folks may have heard of freezer paper stenciling, but if you've never done it, it's fantastic. So let's talk about freezer paper for just a second. Freezer paper is in your grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's used for wrapping things up and putting them in the freezer. But lo and behold, it can also be used to make stencils. So this brown t-shirt over here has a really beautiful green star on it. I just freehanded that star. I applied my freezer paper to the fabric, and then I used a high quality fabric paint to make that start. Let's mention too that Tess freehanded that, cut out the stencil, <laughs> did all of that one with one hand. <laughs> if she can do it, and it looks awesome. Then you can do it too, yeah, I you, promise. You're excited for spring, you slipped on ice, you're I okay. Did. I did, I'm okay. okay. It's could be worse. That's so, right. Stay vertical out there. <laughs> uh, so our freezer paper, just show everybody the front and back of the freezer paper because you may not be able to, to see this on TV. We're going to try to show you that one side is shiny and waxed. Mm -hmm. The other side, if you flip that over, is dull and papery. So, so shiny you can and waxy. see a shiny side. Dull. What I yeah. did for our stencil is I, again, with one hand, I freehanded a pretty little shamrock cut it out of our freezer paper, nice. and then we're going to put that waxy side down on this pretty yellow jersey fabric that I'm going to okay. use to make a kid's shirt. Okay. And I'm just going to take our hot iron, and I promise I won't get you, I'm going to take our hot iron. And now it has to be freezer paper, Tess. Why is that? Freezer paper has this waxed backing, and that's what's going to allow it to stick to the fabric. So if you use something like parchment paper, it won't stick to the fabric and give you that nice clean edge that you need for a stencil. So. I just pressed this on here for a couple of seconds, mm -hmm. and now you get to go ahead and use a foam brush, dip that in some of this fabric paint, okay, and then just paint right on here. And I've got our fabric on a piece of cardboard just so that it doesn't go through, right? And try to brush in from the edges, just like as if you were stenciling on a wall or stenciling I don't on something. Stencil much, oh so I'm glad gosh. you're here now, to talk me through it. Here's the thing that's going to blow your mind because you've got small children. My guess is that every now and then they spill something on their shirt, right? <laughs> if you have every an article, right, if you have every an article day. of clothing that has just a bit of staining on it or um, you know a spot of something, you can make a freezer paper stencil, paint over it, and get a little bit more life out of that shirt. I know. And not look like the messy kid in class. And not look like the messy kid. Um, okay. Yes, what a great so, idea. Let's put that down. We're going to show you what this looks like. So right now it doesn't really look like too much. It looks like a big a big glob of paint. Sure but does. once we pull back our stencil, right now? Well, well, we can, you know, this is TV. So the magic of TV, we could pull it back and hope for the best. Normally we wait for our paint to dry okay. just a little bit more. But I think we could probably Okay. Let's try Cross it. Cross your fingers. And what you'll notice about this freezer paper is that that waxy surface on the back does not leave any residue on the fabric. Oh, I just went crazy. I went crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ashley. Pull off that last oh, little bit bad. of paper. Can I hold it up? Yeah, of course. Oh, look at my little shamrock. Look at your shamrock. Oh, there it is. And what you'll see is that that did go through to the cardboard we had underneath the fabric. And so you may want to be, just be real mindful of that. Just keep something underneath, especially if you're going to be doing this on an existing t-shirt. You'll, you won't want it to go through to the back side of the shirt. This is so fun. It's great fun. And just think, you can freehand, but you can also use some of those fun hole punches that have stars and different things in them. You can make a little polka dot design. The sky's the limit for every holiday, the all the limit. different colors. Gosh, you got my right. mind going, Tess. I know. So this is non-sewing sewing. This is a great way to do something fun with your fabric. It's my kind Ages, of names, etc. It's great. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now tell us about the really quickly these little fabrics. Sure. So these little fabric crayons. pastel crayons are, uh, you can just draw right on your fabric with them. And then the next step, and this is an important one, is for it to remain color fast and machine washable, you've got to take a piece of paper, just like the seamstress's pattern paper, and just press with your iron. No steam, just a dry iron. Um, press to set that dye that's in there. And then okay. once it's set, and you, what I'll show you is I've got a little patch that I've made with a little shamrock, and it says kiss me on it. And so this little patch can end up being stitched onto something else. But this was just hand drawn 
with those fabric pastels. That's so cute. Tess, thanks so much for showing us how to do this. You're We're going to have so much fun and make shamrocks and put them on everything for St. Patrick's. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank